what's going on? It's the Strategic Finance Whale, a.k.a. Lord Whale Kev, coming at you here with some allocation UDAs and fun with the planning admin extension in SmartView and Excel. So the issue is that we had a complex allocation that needed to be done. We needed to allocate a whole bunch of different cost centers. So what we did is we use UDAs or user-defined attributes in the entity dimension to tag the appropriate cost centers that would be receiving the allocated funds. Problem was there's so many UDAs. It took forever to figure out which ones were manual when we're playing through PBCS and moving them from the left to the right in the little boxes. So we also needed the ability to manipulate and consolidate all these UDAs. So the first thing you need to do is get the planning admin extension. You could get this easily right out of PBCS. Just go up to the settings and action and set downloads and then scroll down to the planning admin extension. This is also available in some of the more recent versions of on-prem. This is an Excel SmartView add-in that provides loads of fun with metadata. I've heard a quote that it was the most fun you could legally have with metadata. I guess I heard that quote from myself when I recorded this earlier, but you know what? Let's not cite all references and get all snooty on that. Now that you've downloaded and installed the Dimension Editor, you're ready for some true metadata bliss. First, expand Dimensions from the Smart View panel. In this example, we're going to be looking at the Entity Dimension. And then just like it ad hoc in the Smart View, using the Member Selection, or by typing in your entities, put them in the cell, hit Refresh, and see all the glorious metadata properties. Oh, oh wait, but, but wait, UDA isn't one of those properties. Oh, what a fail. Womp womp. Fortunately, there is a fix. It's kind of complicated, so listen up closely and try to follow along. Move your cursor to cell J1 in this screenshot, or up to the header row, and type in three magic characters. U, D, and A. U, D, A. U, D, A. Boom! Look what happens. There's my UDAs. Wow, there's a lot of them. Now that we found those UDAs, it's the time to manipulate those little buggers to do our bidding. First thing I do is highlight the UDAs and then copy them into a new sheet. Then, in the data tab in Excel, I go to text to columns. Then we select the limited, then next, and check comma. Next, I want to put everything into a single column. I highlight the UDAs and then I do paste special values transpose. For all of you keyboard shortcut lovers out there, it's Alt E S V E. And what that's going to do is put everything into a nice orderly column. Now, I need to get rid of any extra UDAs. The way I do it, highlight the selected column and go to Data Tab and Remove Duplicates. Now here comes the real magic. What you do is, off to the side, type in a formula, equals transpose, and then your array. And don't be silly. Don't type your array. Highlight the selection that you're looking for, transposing. Then what you do is this nifty little trick in Excel is highlight the formula section you're looking at. In this case, it's the transpose section. And hit F9. Boom! Notice this, everything's come out. All of the UDAs are arranged nice and easy with commas and quotations included. Yay. Also note this little trick works for any Excel formula, but make sure that you're careful about highlighting all of the formula section. Like if you do a VLOOKUP inside of a more complex formula, make sure you catch all the right parentheses. Also note, if you hit enter after doing this, you'll get the hard coded the results and you'll lose the formula section that you just added. So use with caution. And now it's time to bring it home. Basically, take that highlighted section from before of the formula with the commas and quotation marks included, paste it right back into the UDA Excel, hit submit, and boom, party like a rock star. Whoop, whoop.